wheel drive buggies have always been in the Dakar. Right at the beginning, they never really had a chance to win. However, in the early 90s, things began to change with the pink buggies of the Duke de Bourgogne team. In those days, it was Jean-Louis Schlesser who had to stop in order to change the tyre pressures to cross the dunes. Things have come on since then. But in order to be light, Schlesser eventually opted to drive alone in 1992. The Frenchman convinced himself that the buggies had a chance to win. And in 1993, he created his own team. And every year since then, Schlesser has entered a brand new car, which was always smaller, lighter, faster and better. In the 94 Dakar, the buggy from the Burgoyne team creates the surprise with Vonberg's third position in the overall standings. Schlesser struggled in 95, but in the 96 event, he starts again in a single-seater with Jutta Kleinschmidt in a two-seater. In 97, though, he keeps the two-seater configuration. He won a stage before a roll put him out. However, Jutta Kleinschmidt does even better as she won two stages and finished fifth in the overall standings. 98 was a disaster on the last stage when he got caught out at the Dakar finish, but he still finished fifth with Enchantal Poals. In 99, Schlesser's efforts pay off as he wins with his two-wheel drive buggy that nobody had expected to win on the toughest rally of them all. It was a big win for the driver, constructor, and of course, team manager rolled into one. I still don't realize what has happened. I guess it will sink in tomorrow. In 2000, he does it again by winning at the base of the pyramids. Could he be even better than Lotus's Colin Chapman?